Welcome back YouTube to another episode of Fast Car Checks. Today, we've got something very unique on the channel. As you can see in the background, we've got this Raffo Belva on the channel today. Only very few of these cars were made. So when you see this car and you've seen the thumbnail already, this is a very unique car. But before I go any further, I'm gonna bring in our guest and the owner of this very rare car. So welcoming Tony to the channel today um, and his very rare car here. So do you want to just tell us a little bit about this car and like what this car actually is? Um, it's one of seven made. Yeah. By a, an Italian fellow who lived in the north of England. And he used to make road racing cars off uh, engines and things like that. And yeah. when he retired, he wanted to build a, a road car. Okay. So um, obviously how many of these were actually made when this car first was built? Yes. Just seven, this was number six. Number six, is it? Yeah. And do they have like the unique number on them as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Oh. So it's so a Raffo Balva, only seven of these were made. Yes. And you've ended up with one. So do you want to just tell us about the journey and getting one and how did you actually find out about this car? I'd seen it in magazines, probably in the 90s. Yeah. And uh, I saw it on eBay. Okay. And I was just watching it. I didn't intend to buy it. Yeah. And then I got carried along and as we do car enthusiasts yeah. and then yeah one's one decision led to never and then obviously you have it here yeah i i just love the shape yeah yeah and it's it is a very unique shape and so for viewers at home just give us a little bit of background raffle belva i've never ever heard of this car so what engine would he, is in there and like how long ago was these cars produced well they were produced sort of 98 yeah for, for just a few years yeah and it's, it's got a Ford ZTEC in the back. Okay. The um, prototype had a Vauxhall engine. Yeah. And then when they started making it, they switched to the Ford. But everything's sort of purpose made in a way, all the uprights yeah, in the front yeah. are purpose made. And where they, where they design for like a racing? Because obviously when you look at it, it's pretty much a race car. You've got the race scoop in there few aerodynamics from what I can see. Was it built for race purpose or was it just like it's, a crazy idea that the guy obviously... I think it's a crazy idea for yeah. the road yeah. because he used to race in uh, race cars, maybe not a Ferrari P4, but yeah. uh, Chevrons and different yeah. stuff like that back in the 80s. So This is a 2001, isn't it? Yes. 2001. So it's like, it's a mad car because like when you look at it, it's almost in between, like you said, like it being sort of like that, 90s look but with obviously being in 2001 and with a ZTEC engine in there as well yeah um, and we've got a little party trick as well actually um, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to touch things in the them but do you want to show us how this car opens um, so there you go the doors go up like a bird as they call it bird wings it's got on the car gold wings uh, yeah that's it yeah so yeah, it's just, it's just a crazy design. But let's go for the drive in the Raffo. Belva. Belva. <laughs> now, how long have you had this car roughly then? Um, yeah, nine years. Nine years? Yeah. It's so like, the thing is like the space in here, is so tight, like it's a, such a small car, but I guess that's where, you know when you said it was 700 kilos? Yeah. I can tell now, like, yeah, when you're actually inside, like, outside looks quite white, but when you're inside the car, the space, you, it's like, I don't know if you've watched Harry Potter before. Remember the Harry Potter little, uh, car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, sh it should have air conditioning. Yeah. But for some reason, it hasn't. No. But um, other ones had it fitted. Yeah. So where is all the dials? Because obviously right now, I'll just turn this camera on as well, just so people can actually see. Yeah, so if you see, you can see like the, there's not much on the screen, is there? Like on the uh, dash, sorry. No. So where are you controlling all the aircon and stuff from? Well, I haven't got aircon. Okay. But I've got, I got switches, all the switches are down yeah. by my right leg. Yeah. Because it's like a small, there's only a few things. It's almost like an, um, like, I don't know what co to compare this cockpit to because I've never seen anything like this in, in, a, in a car, to be fair. Sounds nice as 
well because you've got the engine just right next to your head. Yeah. You can hear everything, can't you? It sounds glorious when you're really revving. Yeah. It's, it's such a cool car. Like, it's one of those cars you look at, it doesn't matter how old you are, young or old, and it turns your head, don't it? Yes. I bet when you're driving it down the road, a lot of people look at it from a distance, don't they? My wife says I'm an exhibitionist. <laughs> I can't take my eyes off yeah. to look at the yeah, speedo. Yeah. yeah, it's quite weird that they've got the speed monitor there, actually, isn't it? Yeah, well, in a race car, yeah. the most important thing is the rev counter. Rev counter, yeah. So um, I'll just turn it around so we can see what's going on. The speed monitor's there, and then you've got the rev counter there. Yeah, yeah. did you say in a race car, that would be more like how you need it? Yes, yes. Because you don't need to worry about how fast you're going, do you? No, it's just, just how fast yeah. the engine to go. Yeah. And did these cars compete in any sort of races at all? No, nothing. No. no? We need a kind of the shot. So yeah, we're just gonna go for the drive, close these doors. A few days. Right, we're in neutral. In neutral. Sweet. What's reverse? Just over and towards me, then down. Yeah. 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 Um, 
probably feels a lot less. But when we were stuck in the traffic, we just had the doors up. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I bet a lot of people were like looking over there. Oh, and the French love that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it has come to the end of the video. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, please smash that subscribe button and enjoy these videos. But as for this car today on a whole, um, mega impressed by it. The fact that it's a 2001 car uh, in itself and it drives, to me, it drove like a dream. Not only that, the vision in there, it was, yeah, it was a nice car. So obviously, thanks to my guest Tony today for coming to bring this car to me. And if you guys don't know what this car is called, it is called a Raffo Belva. That's the word, yeah? So remember that name. Only seven of these have been made. So if you do see one of these cars and it is a genuine car, make sure you take loads of photos because honest to God, you won't see many of these, um, you know, floating around. But um, again, thanks to my guests for coming on the show today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Next episode coming soon. Let's go.